Hello YouTube! It's Kasatome here. Today, what I've got is a fully working traffic light using Red Power 2. Um, as you see here, it actually works exactly like a real traffic light. Um, it goes to yellow and red and then it instantly switches over. Um, it sounds complicated, but really this is this is the circuit here that runs the lights. It feeds into wireless transmitters and I do it I do it this way here because you can fit the transmitter right next to the toggle latch, which is what these things are doing. They're they're toggling these back and forth and I'll explain exactly what's going on in a minute. Um, but it makes it so that you can fit this here like this and with wireless you can actually have this set in a spawn and then you can just build this anywhere you need or want a light and you can stack it like this the receiver will feed into the toggle latch and then you can put this one immediately so it saves you on space and then all you do is you run a bundled cable down into the ground and then eventually just up and in behind lights just like this and because these are colored wires they won't connect up and uh, powering this doesn't power the light next to it so you can have them right next to each other. As for what's going on um, let's say that this light is red so the red light is on and then this light's green. Well, what happens is this light will go to yellow and how that works is the yellow switch is off and the green switch is on over here. And what this does is um, it's a long delay red power repeater into a pulse limiter. Uh, if you don't use the pulse limiter this actually extends the signal by a lot and I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so this repulses it and what it does is it toggles the state of the green and yellow so initially green is on and yellow is off and what this does is it will turn green off and turn yellow on and then after a shorter delay um, it toggles the state of yellow and red for one light and as you can see it comes over here it also toggles the state of red and green on the other one. Um, and then it, the cycle just goes through and that's what it does is it's toggling uh, at the start here as you can see it's actually toggling four lights and then only two here. It toggles yellow, red and then on the other light red and green. Um, it's it's a really simple circuit um, and quite honestly this is, this is all it is um, for the delay you can have more delay than this uh, this actually runs pretty quick but for every every red power repeater put a pulse limiter in front of it otherwise this signal will just lengthen and then by the time that the circuit finishes it feeds right back into it and it'll just create a giant clock and then it won't move at all. So, just a heads up there. Um, I can actually show that here. And you can see that's that's the starting pulse. And there, you see this one pulse, but this one holds much longer. And that's no good for a 
a looping circuit like this. So the pulse limiter um, it's nice and compact as compared to the vanilla one. So as for setting this up, once you build this circuit and you can get a pause on it right here but all it is is you'll want to preset all of your toggle latches and what you'll do is you'll simply set one set of lights to yellow and the other set to red and the reason is like say you have it set here like I do you'll want this set to yellow and then this one set to red because as soon as you hit this and start the system this will toggle to red and this will toggle from red to green and then you'll your circuit set so there's that and of course with wireless you want to set your numbers it doesn't have to be one two three four five six it, whatever doesn't interfere with your red power world of course but um, there, there's not a whole lot you know to go into a tutorial just um, it, it is red power so no, it's not going to work in vanilla in any way there's not even colored lights but um, the circuit is just this these are all repeaters I just use all red power because mixing the vanilla with red power has its bugs but I just feed the proper colors I need into here and it's from the start it's red green green yellow yellow red and then it feeds this is all interconnected then again red green green yellow yellow red um, each one I have feeding into a different color bundled cable just so that I can keep them straight but that's all you do is if you want this to work anywhere in your world you just have to build this po uh, excuse me this portion in a spawn chunk and this will always be running no matter if you're in the nether or you know like 20,000 blocks off it won't matter because this will still run and you can then build this section which is simply the receivers into the appropriate toggle latch so just remember if if green goes into say number one you'll want to make sure that number one feeds into a the toggle for green otherwise it's gonna be a little wonky but that that's about it and then if for whatever reason you want a traffic signal um, there you go so that's about all I got for today um, yeah I'll catch you guys later <laughs>